Hey everyone, Devin here. Uh, we just hit <laughs> 1,000 subscribers last night, and uh, I'm pretty stoked about it actually. It, I, honestly, I never thought I would ever get this far as I got now. Uh, we've only been around, this channel's probably only been open for about four months or something like that, and I never would have thought that I would have made it this far uh, on YouTube, which is I, I guess a thousand is a lot in today's standards, like I said before, but like I said, every subscriber I've ever gotten meant something to me. That means that that, that person's actually interested in my videos, and they're interested in watching what I'm doing, which is awesome, and I, <laughs> I really love that. So, in the last video I asked, well, in the video before, they're playing with scammers, and by the way, if you guys like that video, let me know, I'll continue to make those videos, that one's kind of short. If I do another one, I'll make it a little bit longer, because that one's just kind of short, I'm just kind of experimenting with it. Um... So, yeah, and uh, so in the last video before the Praying with Scammers video, I asked you guys uh, to send me your questions so we could do a Q&A session, and I got quite a few questions, enough to do a Q&A session, which is awesome, that's when you guys have questions, so I'm going to answer that for you guys here, uh, so anyway, let's get started. So the Potato of the Universe asked, what has been your favorite scam with Lewis? Well, I've never done a one-on-one -on -one call with Lewis before, uh, like a one-on-one -on -one scam bait video, but, uh, I think, uh, actually, yes, I have, um, now that I think about it, I think the favorite, our favorite one is, uh, when he, uh, called the scammer, and the scammer knew him on YouTube, and that, that was kind of really cool and funny, <laughs> so, I guess you can call it, uh, my favorite, <laughs> so that was a lot, that was actually really funny. Alright, so Matt Cole 95 says, who inspired you to stop these scammers? P.S. Your videos are amazing, never give up. Well, who inspired me? Well, it was kind of, uh, really weird. I, it was mainly Jim Browning, and then, uh, I saw a couple of Lewis's videos, too. And Lewis gave me that, actually that, alright, I'm gonna do this now, kind of thing, so. And I kind of started beyond after that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ty Detergent, I, <laughs> I don't know how you managed to get that name. <laughs> actually clicked on that. I thought it was actually Ty Detergent, and of course there's a bunch of troll faces on the channel. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god. So he asked, have you ever gotten so mad while calling a scammer? And they show you event view and you suddenly get mad. I, I kind of just like, blew out like a big, you know, like really, like this, like this pathetic kind of thing, like another one of you people doing the same thing kind of thing. I never actually physically get mad at them. Uh, unless they try to talk over me. <laughs> but no, uh, I just kind of feel like, you know, really? I don't know. I mean, the, the scripts are all the same, which I don't understand between different companies. I mean, is there a universal scamming script or what? <clears throat> you know, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, next question. <laughs> Some guy asked, I like that username. <laughs> Have you ever slipped up with a scammer and released some personal info slash lose control? Uh, no. Everything I've ever given them is fake, besides that phone number. That's a real phone number I use for scammers. Um, oh, there have been times where my IP address did show, but they didn't notice it. Uh, it was on the stupid forums, and I didn't notice that at the time. Oh, they never noticed, so... And I always block it out, so... It, it was nothing. I guess you could say that, but... Nothing really big, like... Like, uh... Yeah, anyway... <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't have an animation on it. Oh. Do you have some tips on, uh, oh, yeah. Do, okay, yeah, we saw who said that. <laughs> I'm just ready to read the question. Do you have some tips to me when calling scammers? Uh, I changed I Explorer in Firefox. Uh, does it open NavaShield? No, it's not changed to Okay. Uh, okay. Well, one tip I can give you is probably to use a VPN. Uh, that's one good tip. And also create snapshots on your virtual machine because scammers have a tendency of wanting to destroy everything when they get irritated. Um, Alright, I'm going to try to read this again. You change iExplorer and Firefox to Navishield. And does it open to Navishield? That stat changed too. I'm not sure. Uh, you would have to <laughs> try it, I guess. I don't know. Um, that's cool you changed that stat, though. Give him some different kind of like what Lewis did, saying that, you know, this isn't a scan, a scammer or something, whatever it was, I don't remember what it was, but that's pretty cool. 
So King Crafted says, uh, what was your first exposure to these gamers? Uh, it was the PC support robo. Uh, <laughs> that was the first video I had my real microphone and the cord was dying and I haven't switched over to my real microphone yet, I, even though I found a cord that I can use. I just haven't bothered switching it yet. Uh, that call was alright. Uh, it was definitely tell it was my first call for sure. Uh, I've improved since then. Uh, but yeah, that was my first exposure. How much do you hate scammers on a scale of 1 to 100? Well, to be honest with you, I hate them farther beyond 100. Um, <laughs> so, I guess you could say 100. Uh, I, I can't stand these people. Alright, Pixel Dome says, uh, Could you call an American scammer as... Oh, wait, could you call American scammers as a scammer? And how old are you? Could you call American scammers as a scammer? I'm trying to see what he's talking about. I don't, I don't know what he's asking, that doesn't make sense to me, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, he also says, hold am I, I am now 17, so, yep. Do you play games when you have time to spare? What kind of games do you prefer? Well, <laughs> the funny thing is, is I actually do have a gaming computer, I built this computer for gaming, uh, and then a week later I started doing this stuff, so I haven't really used it since. But yeah, sometimes if I have a little bit of free time, I will play games. Uh, I do I do like a lot of simulation games and like a lot of casual type games like GTA, stuff like that. And, uh, yep. And uh, Xerxes the Undead asks, What are your thoughts on the current geopolitical crisis? <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm have to leave that one hanging. I have no idea. <laughs> oh God! Do you ever follow up on the companies you expose and see if they actually got shut down as law enforcement, and do you actually take the action? I do occasionally. Will come up and see what these companies do if they something's changed. Like for example, PC Support Robo. I got the support service shut down, and then they created another one. I reported that, and I don't know if it got shut down yet or not. That's actually so much to look into. I do, if I can get their IP address to prove their location, I do actually email law enforcement, but sometimes they'll get a reply back, and beyond that, I don't know whether they take action or not. I really don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know. So, Gold Sal Salute? Salitude? Okay. I asked, uh, have you ever punched a wall in rage after a video? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Alright, uh, next question. Gaming tube known as American tube. Okay. So what was your favorite call at the scammer? Uh, probably was Copperhead. Uh, that was in the second live stream, which I have unlisted at the moment because I'm editing, uh, there was something in there I need to edit out and I didn't realize at the time, so I'm editing that out. Um, so, yeah, that was probably one of my best ones with Copperhead. He was <laughs> pretty awesome scammer. Uh, I mean, I mean, he, I mean, he wasn't awesome. He was scamming. I'm just saying, he was kind of like Lewis. Is kind of knew who I was, and yeah, it, it was funny. Milk guy says, "When did you start exposing scammer? What was the funniest scammer you've ever encountered?" So this is kind of like what he just said. Uh, I first started exposing scammer. It was like March 28th or something like that. That first video I made, and the funniest scammer I've ever encountered would be uh, Copperhead. So Chris the Co Cola. <laughs> How did your career begin? What is the story behind it? Okay, so... I'm just going to tell you the way I told my friends, basically. And... Basically, what it, it was late one night. It was... I remember this night, too. It was... 26 or some March 26, something like that. A few days before I started the channel, the day before, I don't remember. It was a late night, and I don't usually stay up very late. I really don't. Uh, I like get up early and then go to bed early, so I... Yeah. So it was like 11 o'clock, and I was sitting here at my computer, my freshly built computer, and I was sitting here, and at the time I was doing YouTube, I uh, I was doing gaming basically, and I had been doing that for a few months, and my channel really wasn't going anywhere, I had four subscribers throughout that entire period and nothing ever grew, so I'm sitting there thinking, you know, what do I want to do, do I want to keep doing this, or do I want to just close the channel, or, you know, I'm kind of sitting here thinking what I want to do. Well, 
long story short, that channel was closed. But, uh, anyway, so I get on YouTube and I see this video recommended to me about, uh, because I was watching scammer videos before, like I was watching, like, normal people, like, people are yelling at scammers over the phone, like, when they talk to them. Nothing like what I'm doing now. I, I didn't think of any of those type of videos. Then I ran into one of Jim Browning's videos, and that's pretty much what set it off. And then I <laughs> I told my friends, like, I had a revelation. Uh, I know what I'm going to do now. And uh, I've been doing this ever since. I said I was going to start a website, and I did that. And uh, now look at me. <laughs> I mean, I, I just hit 1K last night, and, uh, you know, it's awesome. I never actually thought I'd get this far and, you know, I have all the partners and stuff that help me out here, you know, with the scamming list, and uh, they're all awesome guys, I mean, we got a real awesome community and group here, um, and I, you know, that, that's great, <laughs> like, I, it's awesome, so, I'm happy I made the choice of doing this, because I met a lot of cool people, and uh, an awesome community, and <laughs> there goes the uh, Discord, um, so yeah. Alright, so Mega Dog 532 asks, what made you interested in making a YouTube channel about exposing tech support scammers? So it's kind of similar to what it was. Uh, it was Jim Browning, and then I saw a couple of Lewis's videos after that, and honestly, I think it was Lewis that finally made, alright, you know. And then actually I found Hank Dixon's videos too, and then I was like, alright, this is starting to become a thing here, and I want to try it out and see what I, what I can do. And uh, it's awesome, I love doing this, and you guys are awesome. Um, so, yeah. Uh, just a random YouTuber says, what is the least favorite video of you calling scammers? Uh, probably my first video because it was, <laughs> it really wasn't all that great. Um, well, it was funny though that he got really irritated and started playing Game of Thrones at her, do you remember that? But it really wasn't that great, I kind of like stuttered. Like the first like three videos I was kind of horrible at, I kept like, st like stuttering between the thing and like, I, I was really nervous when I first started. And now if you look at me as Game Revolts' videos, uh, like as a recent, um, we don't even usually get to the address point. We just already start exposing him before that point. Now it's just like you know, we just get, you know, I don't feel anything. I don't want to do it. Like I don't get nervous or anything anymore. I just get irritated when they, especially, you know. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So, uh, <laughs> Jesus, Nick Rivera asked, "How do you have such a nice voice?" I, I don't know. <laughs> that's not the first comment I received like that the other day I received a comment actually the same day uh, said that I had a broadcasting voice which I guess makes sense and uh, he asked two questions which is fine and he said do you think you would get this far without Lewis uh, I mean yeah I mean Lewis is you know we've done a couple of videos together I've done a couple of videos on his channel and you know we, but yeah yeah definitely I mean yeah Oh, that's the end. Okay, well, that was it, guys. So, uh, that was pretty good. If you guys want me to do this again, uh, you can leave your comment or questions down below in this video as well. And if I get enough questions, I'll definitely do a second Q&A. Uh, I was actually enjoyed that. Uh, so if you guys have any more questions for me, let me know, and I'll definitely do a second Q&A. And, uh, I should have some more exposing videos coming out soon. Uh, I'm probably going to do another Prying with Scammers. It seems like a lot of people like that, so I might try to do that again. And then, uh, yeah, so, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.